Last night, last night during the watch along, we were watching Jurassic World, the first one. Well, we also we also watched the second one, but honestly, I barely remember what what it's about. <laughs> Basically, one of the one of the main characters is like a 16 year old boy, right? <laughs> and he has a girlfriend, and he kept like he kept trying to like <clears throat> like talk to like other girls while he was on vacation. And I was like, why why is this boy so horny? He's like 16, and then everyone was just like, Ruka, you know, that's when. That's when that's when that stuff happens, right? I'm like, really? <laughs> I honestly, I honestly did not realize. I think in the back of my mind, I probably, I probably knew, but it's just like it, it, it seems, it seems so odd. It, it seem, it seems weird in my head, but like in the back of my head, I, I, I'm pretty sure I knew that, but because I, I, I wasn't like that. I, I was not. I was not like like that like this <laughs> when when I was 16, 17 ish, and then I was thinking I, I was thinking after they said that I was like, you know what? That kind of makes a lot of sense now that I think about some of my interactions with people back then. <laughs> back back then, I I, I guess I, I I was quite a prude. I guess I I don't know. I didn't I didn't think about that kind of thing much. And I, I, did, I honestly didn't think anyone else did either. But then I started hearing stories about people getting caught doing things and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Any specific one comes to mind? Uh, no specific like situation or anything. But there was a guy who... I, I didn't... I, I didn't... Like, it, I, it's hard to explain. It wasn't like... I started out... We started out friends. We never really technically became more than that, but like... Kind of. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Let me make it perfectly clear. We didn't do anything. He basically made it clear that he liked me after like a year or so. And then I was like, yeah, me too, I think. I did like him. But I, I, I didn't have like experience with that kind of thing. So I wanted, I wanted to, I know people get really frustrated with this kind of thing, but I wanted to take it slow, you know? Because <laughs> I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And, and then he, long story short, he got really, really frustrated and mad that I, I didn't, that I didn't want to do anything <laughs> tech, you know, <laughs> and it was like, it was kind of on and off thing. It happened like at least twice. I don't know. I don't know whether to blame him or I, I mean, you know, I could have just, I could have just said no up front. Did he not even go on dates? Uh, I don't really remember at all. <laughs> Cause he, he was like, he was basically one of my closest friends for like an entire year. I honestly don't even know how I met him. He was, he was my closest friend for like a, almost two years and then that happened and then we kind of didn't talk. I haven't spoken to him in a really long time. One year for someone at that age is torture. Okay, but like it wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the past friendship stuff that it was a year. We were friends for more than a year before he brought up anything. And uh, I feel like I brought this up one, at one point that there was someone that was the reason why I watched a lot of anime. <laughs> and the reason why I kind of stopped was because I stopped being friends with them. It's him. <laughs> That's sort of why I am against dating friends. It's, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Cause I, what, now that I think about it, I really don't know how I met him. <laughs> like, we were in the same, we were in two, like two of the same classes. <clears throat> Didn't really talk to him. Uh, one of the classes was uh, PE and we, we basically just did our own thing. Like as long as you're exercising in some way, you basically just do your own thing um, in PE. He just, I think he just randomly started coming to me and my friends. <laughs> I just started playing the game that we were playing. I didn't really question it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think I can really hold anything against him, honestly. <laughs> I feel like it's partly my fault too. <clears throat> that high school friend slash crush thing will stick with you for a long time. Mm, yeah, I mean, our last interaction wasn't bad. Like, we apologized to each other, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't. I don't really feel anything about it right now. It's just a, it's just a story to tell. <laughs> huh. It's just another thing to cringe at. 
I got all the I'm against dating friends, but I don't know. It's easier to date people you know than people you don't know. That's, that's what, that's my, that's my way, you know, that's my, that's what I think. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like if I dated someone, I would be friends with them first. <laughs> but then again, I have no experience, really. Did you want it to become something? Um, I mean, like I said, I wasn't really thinking about that kind of thing at the time. And that is basically a, a lot of the reasons why it went to a mess. <laughs> because I realized that uh, I, I was not ready for that. And I, I hadn't like thought about it at all. And also I was an anxious mess. What well, was, I still am an anxious mess, but I think I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more, I'm, I'm probably better now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> He, he was, he, okay, he, it's not like he like made really aggressive moves or anything. Like he, he, he made sure I was okay with it. And this, this one is actually on me. Like it's completely my problem, but I, I did not know I would react that way. If he basically, he, he asked if it was okay for him. <laughs> I will clarify once again that this is just a story that I'm telling. This feels mean, but I feel nothing for him now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just telling this as a life experience. We are all a mess just stumbling through life. Yeah, yeah. You make mistakes. <laughs> People make mistakes. He basically asked. He asked me. He asked me if he could hold my hand. Wow. Wow, holding hands. Premarital hand holding. Wow. <laughs> uh, and I was like, yeah, sure. And then later, after, after class, Wait, we actually had a lot of classes. <laughs> um, I said yes, right? Uh, after after class, after school, and then we would walk to the parking lot together. So he just like wordlessly grabbed my hand. But okay, part of part of it, it's part of it's kind of funny because like he grabbed my hand, but he didn't even hold it like properly. Like <laughs> it was like the the finger intertwining thing, except the fingers were not intertwined correctly. <laughs> It was like two, two, two fingers that are like not in the right spot. <laughs> um, yeah, the moment he held it, I started having a panic attack. And then I was like, um, sorry, can you let go now? <laughs> I actually want to die. <laughs> Man, I, I, f I feel so bad, but like, what could I? I don't know what I could have done in that moment other than that. <laughs> he really did it kind of suddenly. Yeah, he, he did do it kind of suddenly, but I mean... I <laughs> killed the young boy. <laughs> uh, he did ask, but it was earlier in the day. I, I'm, I'm not gonna blame him, but uh, you know, he could have given a little more heads up, you know? <laughs> like, what she can do is say no. She had a panic attack and a mere touch. <laughs> Bro. He to admit it, but Sakuna isn't wrong. I know he isn't wrong, and that is why I also blame myself. But, you know, I feel like I, could, I couldn't have really done anything in that moment other than say no. But I didn't really feel like there was a reason to say no. <clears throat> wonder if he's a neat or a serial killer now. Uh, I think he's doing fine. <laughs> I think, I think he's doing fine. Yeah, I don't really know. I haven't kept up. If he fainted, would you have caught him? I think I was more likely the one to faint because I was still I was still in the middle of a panic attack. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I I didn't tell him the reason why until later because I was too busy trying to not panic. Um. So I I do I do feel bad. I guarantee you that he will have that memory pop into his head many many times throughout his life. Do chill moments never ever leave you. The thing is though, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. Cause after, after that, after that, I like, we talked and I was like, I don't think, I don't think I can do this right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that was probably not the right thing to say, but I was like, maybe, maybe in, in, in the future, if I, I ever, I, if I, if I do become ready, uh, we can come back. <laughs> And now that I think about it, that's like a, that's not exactly the best thing to say, but I, I, I didn't know what to say. Because I, I, I didn't want him to make it feel like it was his fault, but then it was like, it's not me. It, wait, no, it's not you, it's me. But it, that's, ba that's literally what it was, though. I feel bad if I said nothing either. It would be like having your friend question every reason without knowing the truth. I mean, I told him later that day. 
not only you traumatize them, you also gave them hope for the future. Yeah, I mean, I was, what, 17? I'm like, <laughs> it's hard to know the right things to say, especially when you're still panicking. <laughs> but yeah, he, he got, he got really mad at that. And uh, the radio silence for a long time. You might as well shoot him twice. Look, I'm not proud of what I said, but it, it's, you know, I, I was young and stupid and totally not ready for any of that kind of things. 